The Hampton Roads Hurling Club was host this weekend to some of the best clubs in this part of the country. And Nathan Epstein was there to record it for a history, this ancient Irish sport. Nathan. Through the sweltering summer heat, a celebration of Irish heritage in Virginia Beach. Teams from Akron, Ohio, Raleigh, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, and Richmond joined in for the third annual Coastal Virginia Cup. Bigger than what it was last year. I see more teams, but uh, the organization, there are more tents around the field. It is growing. I have noticed that, and, uh, and it's fantastic. The sport is hurling. Best way I can explain it is if you took baseball, lacrosse, field hockey, rugby, you would have hurling. Also known as Camogie for the women, this lightning fast test of hand eye coordination and will is the national sport of Ireland, arguably the oldest sport in the world. My Irish dance teacher said that I should come check it out, and I said, sure, I need friends. Megan Finning is an original member of the Hampton Roads Hurling Club, which started eight years ago with only a few players. The men's and women's squad each field two full rosters now. Within, I think it's been two or three years since the Camogie team started, and they're giant now. The Mid-Atlantic now is, is growing at a monumental pace, and we didn't even know until we saw the lineup, the teams that are available in Virginia. There's this team in Raleigh now. There's a lot of clubs that are, that are growing that weren't around 10 years ago when we were looking for matches. Yeah! As for the Coastal Virginia Cup? I'd like to be over at the, the big arena. That's where I'd like to be at. I'd like to be in front of, you know, 5,000 people. Yeah! An event and a sport that continues to gain popularity. In Virginia Beach, Nathan Epstein for the Sports Wrap.